In this section, we are going to talk about basic troubleshooting commands, and we are starting with filtering the show IP route output. If you want to filter the show IP route, you can use the show IP route. And for example, if you want to check a just specific IP address or network ID, you can type that IP address and show the IP routing about this specific IP address. Or you can use the longer prefixes keyword as well. The show IP route longer prefixes allows you to see any subnets of the network you specified if they are present in the routing table. For example, assume that you are an ISP internet service provider and you have assigned an IP block of 1600 slash 15 to your customer and you do not know about the way your customer further subnetted this IP block nor do you care about it. However, for some reason you now need to check if there are any subnets from this IP block learned in your routing table. So the command will be show IP route and show IP route and 1600 and the command will finish with the longer prefixes. This command will then display all known subnets of the network 1600-15 learned in your routing table. And the other filtering method is using include, exclude and begin keywords. To use these keywords, you are typing the, for example, a show command. In this example, we are using show process CPU, then a pipe. And if you type include and if you type the keyword, the iOS is showing us the lines only including the IP input. And if we just use exclude and we are typing a keyword, the iOS is excluding the lines that occur unassigned keyword this time. And we can also use the begin keyword. If you, if you use the show running config, for example, pipe begin line vty, this time iOS is showing the lines beginning with the line VTY keyword. We can also check a specific portion of the show run output. For this we are using section keyword. For example, if we just want to check the IPSLA configuration, we can use show run pipe section IPSLA. If we want to check the BGP configuration or OSPF configuration, we can use show run pipe section BGP or OSPF or something like that. We have also redirect T and append options in here. The redirect option does not display the output on the console, but what this option doing is, for example, we are typing show tech support. We have a show tech support output in here and that is this output is being redirected to a TFTP server directly and with the name of showtech.txt. This is the file. Okay, but you don't see anything on your screen as you can see. We can use also T option too. For example, show IP interface brief pipe T flash show and brief txt. The T option displays the output on the console and sends it to the file. All right, what T is doing is we are seeing the output in here, show IP interface out, brief output, and it is also being sent to the flash with the name of show and brief txt. All right. When you use the dear flash, we can use the show and brief dot txt in here, as you can see. We have also an append option. 
this append option allows you to add command output to an existing file. That's the only difference. All right, and we have the ping. Ping is the most basic command as you can see. You send the ICMP echoes to the remote side and you receive the ICMP replies to verify the communication between two devices. All right, if you use repeat keyword with the ping, you send continuous ping packets. By default, Cisco IOS ping command sends out five ICMP echo request packets and the repeat option enables you to specify how many echo request packets are sent. And in here we have another option while using ping and we are pinging an IP address in here as you can see and we are using a size keyword and dfpet. Size keyword option enables you to specify the total size of the ping packet including headers in bytes that will be sent. In combination with the repeat option, you can send a steady stream of large packets and generate some load. And we have DF bit as you can see this option sets the don't fragment bit in the IP header to indicate that routers should not fragment this packet. If it is larger than the NTU of the outbound interface, the router should drop the packet and send an ICMP fragmentation needed and DF bit set message back to the source. This option can prove very useful when you are troubleshooting MTU related problems. So a source option lastly as you can see, this option enables you to set the source IP address of interface of the ping packet. And we have also an extended ping as you can see in here. In extended, extended ping, we are typing just ping keyword and hitting the enter. Then iOS is asking us some questions. The target IP address, repeat count, datagram size, timeout, 18 seconds, extended comments or yes or no, source address or interface, type of source and blah blah blah. As you can see that you can fill out all of them or you may fee, you may leave some of them blank and you can use the extended ping as a good troubleshooting tool. All right. When we execute a ping command, we get to reply with some symbols. For example, in here we have this symbol. That means a successful answer return. If we see this guy, life is good. But if we see these guys, life is no good. If we see serial points, the life is no good and the answer is a failed answer. That means. If we see U, that means destination is unreachable. Maybe an access list is blocking us to reaching the device. If we see Q, the resource is POC, M means fail to fragment the package and question mark means unknown package type and ampersand means package time exceeded. And if you want to get real time information about the devices, we can use debug options as you know. For example, if we type debug IP OSPF at GCNC or debug IP OSPF events, we see the real time OSPF packets sharing from the devices each other. So we can define hardware problems in the iOS and troubleshoot them with some commands as well. The first command is as you can see that is the show memory maybe. You can see your memory status by using the show memory. Or we can, we can use show process CPU sorted to see the processes that is consuming our CPU on our device. For example, in here we have CPU utilization for 5 seconds is 4% and we are seeing something like that 1% and 1 minute 6% and 5 minutes 5%. 
this guy's four, six, and five. In the output, show the total CPU value used in the packet switch in the last five seconds, one minute, and five minutes. And this guy is this guy is indicating the CPU value spent on the interruption in the packet switch.